Hey guys, this is part number two of the three-part series on how to install CentOS 6.4 on Microsoft Hyper-V Server with the Linux integration services. And I'm your host, Robert Tilley, with robertillyjr.me. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Today what we're going to be doing is actually installing the Linux integration services. Uh, first thing that you have to do is go ahead and go to the Microsoft Download Center and I'll be posting the links and the actual text on what it is that you guys need to do. Uh, but from the Microsoft Download Center you need to download Linux Integration Services version 3.4 for Hyper-V. I went ahead and downloaded that already so you guys don't have to watch me download it. And then you need to hop on over to your Hyper-V Manager. And you want to go ahead and open up the settings for that CentOS 6.4 server. And you want to go to your DVD drive, and then you want to mount that image file that you just downloaded with the integration services on it. And here it is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and mount that to the DVD drive, DVD drive which you can see it is right there. I'm going to click Apply. And you can see it's mounted. OK. And I'm going to hop back on over now to the CentOS 6.4 server. And you can see it went ahead and just opened me up a window. Now most likely you're logged on under your username which is not a root user so you're not a sudoer. And uh, basically what that means is we need to uh, log in as a root user. So let's hop on over to Applications System Tools to Terminal and you type SU as C in Sierra Uniform then space, space and then the dash and hit enter. And you're just going to type in the username uh, password, I'm sorry, the password that you use when you created uh, the CentOS 6.4 server. So I just did that. You can see it doesn't have asterisks or anything like that like uh, Windows does, but it's there. And now you can see that I'm logged in as a root. So what I want to do is type cd forward slash media forward slash cd-rom and it has to be in all caps so cd-rom that's in all caps again and then in all caps again after this next forward slash r h e l six three hit enter and there we are now what you need to type is period forward slash install period sh and hit enter and there you can see that we are installing the Linux integration services for Microsoft Hyper-V and that's uh, you know our next step in getting to a fully functional CentOS 6.4 install on Microsoft Hyper-V server and uh, that's about it next series we'll go ahead and uh, I'm sorry the next video will go ahead and get the network up and running thanks guys okay just wanted to hop back in here real quick it takes about anywhere between two and five minutes to run but I didn't want to leave you hanging um, this is actually what it looks like when it's all installed okay uh, you know, it says preparing 100%, KMOD, Microsoft, Hyper-V, 100%. Then it'll go back to preparing again, 100%, and then Microsoft, Hyper-V, 100%. Uh, and then when it's actually done, it will say Linux integration services for Hyper-V has been installed. Please reboot your system. And uh, then you just uh, go ahead and reboot. And open up the next video, and I'll show you how to get your network up and running.